my advances come to the people. Come to the people. Come from behind the courtiers of the Democratic Labour Party. You were here for 22 years with your husband. You walk the streets of St. John and you know, and you must bear the responsibility of nothing that you all did. Nothing in St. John but wind and dine the people of St. John. You get them too drunk. And you know what's amazing? That there are people in St. John working with placards and supporting the Democratic Labour Party. And I know, I mean, we are too know, ladies and gentlemen, that some of those same people are destitute. I'm not going to call names, I will not do that. But they know because they're going to hear my voice. They know, and they are not prepared to give me a listen. They are not prepared to give Hudson Griffin and the Barbados Labour Party a listen. But I am here, and they will have to hear me because I'm going to be keeping some noise. I have to do something as a businessman. Mayor Motley, don't let the Democratic Labour Party lead you down the garden path. Don't do it. Don't do it, Mayor. You remember the statement by David Thompson? Wrap yourself in the flag. You remember that? Don't lay off people so we can save our butts. You remember that? Ladies and gentlemen, the people is you know. Because the business people of this country did not lay off anybody in 2009 and 2008 and 2010. Where did they get the money from? How was they going to get it back in the bank account, ladies and gentlemen? I know it's a sore subject for some of you, but I have to defend them. This government, to all the business people in this country, do not lay off people. This government refuses to finance people. The business sector in this country grew down in excess of $200 million in savings to run the businesses that keep people employed. How in the hell are they going to continue? Where are they going to get the money from? I'm talking to youngsters on the block. And they still have not reached the position and the situation that 52 years of lit in your tail, both your mother, your father, know you. It's not enough for you to change this, this Democratic Labour Party. It is time to change. There are categories in this constituency. There are the VIP people who thought that the Barbados Labour Party with an invest in it and John. But let me tell you all something, ladies and gentlemen. You all have been for me because the Barbados Labour Party invested in St. John and is invested in St. John now. Let me tell you why. Pat Thornton came back more than once. And I have to defend and still defend her now on this trail. Because Pat Thornton's life changed. It's not that she ran away from you all because she didn't want to represent you all. After 10 years, her life changed. She became a Christian and a minister. Most of you know, I don't want to remind you all about that. So this fairly fear that the Barbers Labour Party changed people. She made a choice in her life. And you can remember, those of you could remember her and say, it was a hard, hard, hard decision. She had to pray on it. But the calling of the Lord, the need is more important.